So custom audiences, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a few of them, a few of them. Let's go to Karcher real quick. Let's make sure that these links are all set up. So, so we're going to set up an audience for the opt-in page, the thank you page, and the call confirm page. Okay. And then we'll do the editing as well. The image, change out the image for sure, but let's make sure the links are all updated. So opt-in, hit the three dots and go to get coder link. Let's make sure we, we change out this link, get the page link. Okay. So, okay, perfect. So that, that, okay. So all we want is the domain. We don't need the www. So just copy everything up to, yeah, all the way to the DFW. Perfect. So this will be our first audience. So copy that. Yeah. Make sure we got all of that. And so this is simply opt-in, right? Because so now close this part. So hit the close and then let's go back to the, to the um, audiences. I think it's, you can, you can actually X out of the first events manager. Let's get rid of that one. Cause that one's already good to go. Um, yeah. We're going to work out of this one. You can even close out the other business settings. So here we're going to click on the first blue one, create a custom audience. So we're going to create a few of them here. And this is again, what I, what I keep saying is this is what it's all about is, is your custom audiences. So in this case with, with a link, we're going to go website. So let's go website and then next. And then right here. Okay. See, so now, now, so hit, hit the, um, oh, now what we're going to do is we're going to hit that drop to events and we're going to go to people who visit specific web pages. We're going specific web pages and then the retention. So go ahead and paste in the link there at the bottom, the URL, paste in the link right there. At right least here? one. Yeah, right there. So on the retention on the days and when you paste it in, yeah, you, you end up seeing a blue drop down. Always click the blue drop down, but that's fine. You're good. So the retention, the 30 days, what I tend to do is I'll put that at maybe maximum 90. Um, because what Facebook's going to start doing from this point on is, is, is tracking everything and, and keeping people in this audience for the past 90 days. Mm -hmm. And so you can go up to a maximum of 180, but people tend to days is usually the max. Yeah. That's like, that's like a long time. So for example, right. like if I, if I clicked on your ad 87 days ago and, and, and I landed on your page and that was the only time I ever clicked on it. That was the only time I ever landed on your page. And it was 87 days ago. It's like, I probably won't remember you at that point. Right. Right. So that's why 90 is the max. Sometimes I'll even go 30. Like I want, I want it to be a fresh audience of people who actually still remember me. So if you clicked on my shit 22 days ago, it's a good chance that you probably will still remember me. Right. So mm -hmm. 90 is, is, is the max is what I do. So let's leave it at 90. 90 is fine. And then audience name, audience name. So this is the opt-in page. So I'm going to, I'm going to, so it's going to be seller guide, seller guide, opt-in page. Or seller guide, seller guide, seller guide opt-in visitor, or or seller guide, um, seller guide landing page visitors, because that's all it is. It's it's just people who have landed on that page, but they have not opted in. And how does Facebook know that they have not opted in? Is because we exclude the people who actually opted in. So exclude people. Click on that button at the top. Exclude people. Now, what we want to do is we want to scroll down all website visitors. We want to go specific we're on the all 90 days. Yeah. Change that to 90. We're going to, we're going to copy the top. So that's 90, the all website visitors, the events hit that drop down. go to specific. So we're matching the top Where? events, all website visitors, specific, right? We did specific at the top here. We're doing specific as well. So this link, nope, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the opt-in. It's oh. the thank you page. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so let's grab the link for the thank you page. So, so get coder link. Let's grab this link. So here again, very, very specific. We're telling Facebook, Hey man, people who have landed on the landing page, put them in this audience. These are people who have landed only. They have not landed on this link. Gotcha. Right. Very specific. So <coughs> go back. Yeah. So we're going to paste in that. And so now the audience name seller guide landing page visitors and, and what I would do is I'd even get very detailed with it in parentheses only. So seller guide, landing page visitors only, create audience. Okay, so now what I, what I want you to do is, um, and I don't think I've, I've took you through, did we, did we bookmark all seven bookmarks? 
Did I, I don't even you? think so. I mean, that's okay. why I'm, I've been, if we, yeah. We we'll need do to that call next. <laughs> we'll do that call next where I okay. actually have you bookmark everything okay. and create a folder. Oh, we it. did start to sort of work on that. Yes. Okay. So why don't you bookmark this? This is audience. So I don't know if you have that folder, but the name what? of the folder should be business manager or Facebook business where manager. Where do I go for that? Just hit the yeah. star at the top. You can hit that star at the top, the bookmark oh. star. Yeah, you do have those. those. Um, so hit that star and then add bookmark. And then let's, yeah, Facebook business manager. So this one's custom audiences, custom audiences. And I don't know if you have another one that's bookmarked, but but if you do, then it's this one. This is, this is the bookmark. So yeah, let's go to, um, can you look at those other bookmarks? What other bookmarks do you have in there? So bookmarks. Um, where's your? No, phone? the only one I had was your. Um, Actually, yeah, that that the bottom. Hover over the FB business man. Okay, so custom audiences. Perfect. Is it just those three that we have? Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So there's there's four other ones that we'll eventually bookmark, but um, okay. but that's that. So now create audience again. Let's create another audience. So custom audience. And now what we want to do is we want to create, since we already have it copied, we're going to simply paste it in. And that's the thank you page. So events, change out the events, always go to specific, always specific. So retention 90, and then um, paste in the thank you page. That's the thank you page. So here we're going to simply name it seller guide leads. That's what this is, right? Anyone that lands on this page is a lead. So seller guide leads, create audience. Perfect done and then let's create one other one so create audience what we want to do is custom audience and then um we're going to go website next and then what we want to do here again events specific retention retention what i would do on the retention in this case is i would i would i would max it out at 180 because this audience is going to be those who actually have scheduled an appointment so if you've ever and and in your cart your calendar i wouldn't just use it for seller guide leads like i would start using the cartridge calendar for every appointment okay. every appointment every appointment i don't give a damn what appointment as long as it's business right i would okay. schedule every appointment through my cartridge calendar and 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 three main reasons three main reasons why i would is because number one it's more professional like if i have a calendar an online calendar i can send someone the link and they can schedule a, a time it, it it makes me look more professional that's okay. number one and then number two Anyone and everyone who actually goes through that calendar is on a list. So typically, most of us small business owners, when we go and schedule an appointment, it's a random appointment on a Google calendar, right. or maybe might you right? It's something random like that. From this point on, I want you to I want you to be, be able to now segment. I want I want you to now categorize. I want you to now be able to put these put certain people on a list, okay. right? So so in this case, an appointment list is super powerful for a couple of reasons. One reason I can email that list. Mm -hmm. So in Kartra, I can now email that list. Anyone who's got an appointment, if I want to send, send, send an email out, out on something random, I can email that list. But then also number two, I can then take this email list because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be an email list. It's going to be a mm -hmm. list of, of those who, who have ever scheduled an appointment with me. I can then take that list, upload it to Facebook, and I can create an audience. Right. Okay. Right. Right. And, and that's important because you I don't want to keep people ads. separate. Yeah. Right. Like if I want to exclude that audience from seeing ads, well, that's how I would do it. That's one way to do it. Another way is, is, is another way to do it is, is what we're about to do right now. And that's setting up the custom audience around the link. Okay. Right. So if you schedule an appointment with me and you land on the call confirmed link that's what we're doing here okay. so so that that that's a reason and, and then a third reason a, another reason why i use a cartridge calendar for everything is because it sends out the reminders so as you go to my calendar and you book an appointment you get a booking confirmation email yeah. Yeah. right so so here get the get the link for the for the call confirmed so close this one out yeah get the get the call confirmed one and let's make sure we customized the link, which we did. Call confirm, perfect. So just grab that. Okay, cool. So we'll close. Yeah, we'll close that out. Okay. Copy. Okay. Okay, cool. So now 
we'll go back here. We'll paste. And so, yeah, we'll paste it in there. And then um, we'll hit the blue. Perfect. And then the audience name, appointments, scheduled appointments or whatever. And it's very general. It's not just seller appointments or seller guide appointments. It's just everything. So, so again, two ways we're going to be able to create this audience. One is I can, I can, so go ahead and hit the blue one, create audience. So one way to create the audience is, is what we just did around the link. Those that actually land on that page. So hit mm -hmm. done. And then, and then another way to create an audience is create, click the, the blue one again, create audience and go to custom. So if I just had an email list, if I just had a list of everyone who has scheduled an appointment, I can then come over here, and customer can, list. Okay. I can upload that list and create an audience that way as well. Huh. So that's, that's, and so here custom audiences, what you'll really focus on is website which is what we did. We created links. We, cre we have these links. We created audiences. Another audience, which is going to be super powerful as we start to run ads is video. So we're going to start creating audiences around everyone who's actually watching the video, whether they click on it or not, whether they went to the landing page, whether they opt in, that doesn't even matter. The fact that they watched my video on Facebook, that's what we're going to be able to track. Okay. So that's, that's video. And then, and then, and then um, Facebook page, let's do one more. Let's do the Facebook page. And it's really not those who, well, there's a ton of options hit, hit next. So as you come over here, the events hit that drop down. There's a ton of different ones. People who currently like or follow your page, everyone who engaged, anyone who visited. I don't really care about any of those. What I really want is the ad. So the fourth one down people who engaged with any post or ad, right. And, and that's what I would name the audience. So audience name, um, people who engaged with post or ad. And so as we put up organic posts, which you'll, you'll most likely continue to do, put up, you know, post here and there, that's fine for whoever likes the page. These people are most likely all over the country. So it's not really for them. It's really for those who, who are on the track with the ad. Okay. And it's same retention, 180? No, I, I, yeah, I drop it. I would drop it. I drop it to 90, drop okay. it to 90 and then create audience. Do it. Okay. And then yeah. And then that's, and that's that. So um, click Perfect. on done. And those are, those are, those are four powerful audiences. So as we move forward, um, video is what we'll, if, if we're putting out video ads, then that's for sure um, what you'll start. I got, I, got, I got quite a few other, like, you know, I have a, a buyer's pamphlet that to put out. So what I'll do for our next call is I'll try to see if I can go and edit the other pages like you showed me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then um, on our next call, we can, you know, do that, get this one kind of set up and then work on the Kartra appointment calendar. To yes. Get that set yes. Up. yes. And then, um, you know, hopefully get this running soon. And then um, I can focus on, uh, let my buyers one. Yes. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. So I'm super fired up for you. Yes. Thank you so much so, for your help, David. I, I seriously, I, you're I, so, so welcome. I couldn't even do it without you. So thank you so much. You're so, so welcome. 2022 is going to be a great year for you. It's so I'm super great fired year. up. I'm ready. I, I need to, I'm about, I'm ready to make it happen and, and to boom. And I absolutely appreciate you being there with me and helping me through the process. You're so, so welcome, Heather. Likewise, I, I feel the same way right back. So I'm super appreciative of you as well. So I'll be a message away if you need anything. Perfect. So I'll cool. set up my next appointment whenever um, I have, I'll look at my calendar and see. Let's do it. Sounds good. Okay, Thank thanks. You. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.